Hey guys, welcome back to It's Beach Season Fitness. Today we are going to do a mini boot camp workout. It will take us under 25 minutes to complete. We've got 15 exercises and it is no repeat. I've got a pair of 10 pound dumbbells and an exercise mat and that's it. So if you've warmed your body up and you can see me, we will get started. All right, guys, so our first exercise is a sprinter skip. So right foot stays forward, left foot is going to go back into a lunge type movement. You're gonna touch down with your left hand, drive the knee up, and touch down again. If you would like to get a little hop, you can also do that as well. Try to keep strong posture here. You don't want to round your back too much as you reach for the floor. And it is okay if you can't touch the floor. If the hop is becoming too much, you can simply drive the knee without the hop. Good job, guys. You're almost there. All right, good. Take a break for 30 seconds. We're gonna do the other side. All right, guys, get ready. Stand up nice and tall at one side of your mat. You're gonna get ready to send the right leg back this time. And drive it up towards the ceiling. Feel free to get a little hop if you did on the other side. Try to keep good posture. Stay strong through your core. Good. Keep breathing. I like to exhale as I drive my body up. Alternate between those taps. Good. You guys are almost there. Okay, take a break. Nice deep breaths. We're gonna use one dumbbell for the next exercise. All right, guys. So we're gonna get ready to go into a squat with a thruster. So hold the dumbbell on one shoulder. Both hands, drop into a squat, pop it up overhead and to the other side and back down. Once you get your motion, you can try to speed up your repetitions. This one is very important to have good form because we have a weight overhead. Good job, guys. Try to keep all the weight in your heels. Try to keep your chest up the whole time. Couple more seconds. Keep going. Woo. All right, very good, take a break. We don't need the dumbbell on the next one. So go ahead and put it off to the side. You wanna make sure you have enough space for the next one. I'm gonna hang out right in the middle of my mat. Nice deep breath. 
Try to slow your heart rate down. We've got forward and backward taps. So we're working on our footwork here. So forward, forward, backwards, backwards. You can do whatever feels natural with your arms and you are just going to run it forward and back. Try to keep your core tight. Try to stay on the ball of your feet. Breathe, core is tight. Don't trip over your dog. Good. I always find it hilarious when my dogs watch me work out at home. Couple more seconds, good. All right, very nice, take a breather. This one we're gonna use both weights. We're going to do renegade rows. So we're going down to our mat. All right, so for renegade rows, you're going to want the weights about shoulder distance apart and you want them right under your shoulders. You can have your feet wide for stability and you're just going to row one side up, squeeze, bring it down. Once it's stable, pick the other side up. You wanna try not to shift too much through your hips. Try to treat this as a plank. If it's too much to be on your toes, feel free to drop down to your knees. Good. Think mind to muscle, your back as you pull those weights up. Keep drawing your core in. Nice and stable. You guys got a couple more seconds left. All right, very good. Let's drop one down. You only need one dumbbell for the next exercise. I'm gonna place it right in the middle of my mat. Come on up to your feet and breathe. Take a break. All right, guys, so we've got a burpee to a dumbbell halo. So you're gonna get ready to place hands on either side of the weight. Jump your feet out, jump them in. You're going to bring the dumbbell around your head, just like an angel's halo. Come right back to the floor. And if you can, go the opposite direction. If you get mixed up, don't worry about the direction. Just keep it moving. Keep the dumbbell tight around your body when you make that halo to protect your shoulder joints. You don't wanna let your elbows get too far away from your body. Good job, guys. Keep your core tight throughout this whole movement. You got a couple seconds left. Okay, very good. Put that weight down, breathe. We don't need any weights this time. So you're gonna come back down to your mat. This is boot camp, so there's a lot of up and down. That's a good thing. We'll treat it as an exercise in itself. We're going to do plank toe taps. So you're gonna put your hands right under your shoulders, shoulder distance apart. You're gonna come up onto your toes, nice low plank. Reach opposite hand to opposite foot. Bring it back to start and do the other side. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay. Just simply reach for what you can.
Good job, guys. We're working a lot of lower core muscles here. So think, draw your core in a lot as you send your booty to the ceiling. Good job, guys. Ooh. All right, good. So stay down on the mat. We are going to do plank jump ins next. Just breathe, roll your shoulders out. You guys are about halfway through this mini boot camp workout. So you're gonna get right back in that position that you were in. High plank, hands shoulder distance apart, fingers wide. Okay, you're gonna draw your core in, you're gonna jump your feet in, and then jump them out. Try to keep your booty under control here. You wanna try to jump and keep it as low as you can. If it's too much to jump, you can simply step in and step out. If you're doing this variation, try not to shift a lot through your back. If you're jumping, you can shoot for the same goal, but you will shift a little bit more as you jump. Stay strong through your arms. Good. Oh, I'm gonna switch to those step ins. How are you guys feeling with the shoulders? I know mine are burning more than anything else. All right, come on down, very good. So now we need both dumbbells. We need to come up to our feet. So I'm gonna face the side. We've got a combination movement here. We've got a dumbbell deadlift to overhead press to alternating reverse lunge. So. Pick up those weights and you wanna be on one side of your mat to start. Feet hip distance. You're going to hinge forward into a deadlift. Bring the weights up and overhead. Keep them up. Reverse lunge on one leg. Reverse lunge on the other. Bring them down. Go back into those deadlifts. Shoulder press, hold them up. One reverse lunge, other reverse lunge. Keep your core super tight as you have the weights overhead. If you feel any compression in your lower back during these lunges, keep the weights at your shoulders and see if that feels better. Keep going, guys. Nice, okay. All right, very good, we don't need the weights again. We're going into seal jacks. So, lower half is doing a jumping jack form. Upper half is gonna be moving in and out, okay? Couple more seconds. I like to start with my hands together and my feet together. Jump everything out at the same time. Back in and try to get your speed here. We have a whole minute, so pace yourself. If the jumping is too much, you can step and just move the hands along with it, okay? Good job, guys. Keep going. Are your calves on fire? Almost, almost. I'm losing an earbud. <laughs> Keep going. If you're stepping, try to give it all you got with your speed. All 
All right, very good. One dumbbell, we're going down to the mat. You're gonna put the dumbbell right in the middle. We're going to do a plank with a dumbbell pull through. So, breathe. You're gonna remember your form on this one. Once we get in the position, your hands are gonna lay right under your shoulders. Mochi wants to help. All right, guys. So, hands under the shoulders. Fingers are wide, feet are wide, okay? Mochi, move, baby. Okay, dumbbell is gonna be on one side. Pick it up, move it to the other, and then use the other hand. Keep switching side to side. Try to keep your hips stable. If you find it's too much to be on your toes, drop down to your knees. Try to keep your booty low in this one. If you're with me, really focus on that hip stability. Almost there, guys. Lots of planks here. All right, very good. All right, we're doing another plank variation, but no dumbbell. So put the dumbbell off to the side. This time we're gonna be on a forearm plank. Spider-Man planks. All right, so breathe it out. We still got a couple seconds. All right, get into your forearm plank, okay? Elbows are gonna be shoulder distance. I like to clasp my hands. I'm gonna send my hip out to the side. Aim for knee to elbow, and then do it on the other side, just like Spider-Man. Good. Once you got your form, try to speed it up a little bit. Good job, guys. You guys are on it. You're working your way to the end. Very good. All right, guys. Woo hey, come on down. Breathe, we're gonna stay down here yet again. I promise this is the last plank variation. Your core is really working here, so are your shoulders. We're gonna be back to a high plank position on our hands. And we're going to do a T rotation to try to get some twisting through the body, working your obliques. So. You're gonna be on your toes. You're gonna to twist to one side. Make your body into a capital T. Hand down. Switch to the other side. Really make sure you have your hand placed and you feel stable before you roll off to the side to protect your shoulder joints. And be careful with your speed on this one. Only increase your speed if you know for sure that you feel strong and stable here. Very good, very good, almost. Woo, couple seconds left. Work up all the way till the end. Okay, good. All right, we are standing up. We need one weight only. You guys have two more exercises left in this mini boot camp workout. Woo -hoo. So, you're gonna start on one side of your mat. The dumbbell is going to be at your chest. You're gonna pick a leg, send it back into a reverse lunge, 
and then twist towards the bent knee. Back to center, switch, again, twist towards the bent knee. And then as you go, you can make this more of a fluid motion and start twisting at the same time that you send the leg back. Keep the weight in one spot, meaning one height. Don't let it fall lower than your chest. Good job, guys. This one really challenges balance. Plant your foot, make sure it's strong. Use all your toes to stabilize. Couple seconds. Ooh, guys, I am sweating. Ooh, ooh. All right, very nice. Last one. We're just gonna drop down to the mat and we're gonna hold boat pose. So you guys still have rest, but if you wanna just get into it now and hold longer, you can do that. That's what I'm doing. Starting a little bit sooner. Ooh. And I am really feeling this one in my hip flexors. Try to keep your chest up. You don't wanna round your back too much. If you wanna practice sending one out for a couple seconds and then sending the other one out, you can do a couple of those. Good job, guys. All right, hold. Oh, you're over halfway. Let's go, guys. Just take what you need here. If you need some movement, kick your feet out. If you need stillness, keep them in one spot. All right, very good guys. Oh wee, that's it. You finished your mini boot camp workout. If you feel so inclined, you can go ahead and restart and get a little more. If not, great job. I'm so happy you guys decided to join me for another workout. Make sure you like this video, share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next workout.